You're in Texas. Yeah. Well, wait, wait, let me scoot back. Were you DJing in California? Yeah. Started with the, uh, with the, with the, well, actually it was Lonzo and the World Class Wrecking Crew. Okay. Actually, he first, his first name was Disco Construction Production. Really? Yeah. That was the first one. The World Class Wrecking Crew, Dr. Dre, Yella, mm -hmm. Lonzo. Mm -hmm. Yes. All of them. So they, you, owe, they owe me everything. So you were their DJ? I was their DJ. I was their, I taught Dre. You taught Dre how to DJ? I taught Dre and taught Yella. Really? Mm -hmm. That's a super tight exclusive. Y'all never heard that before. Yeah. What You see what I'm saying? This is a bucket list. I knew this was going to be historical. So you t how, how did you meet those guys? Oh, all through Lonzo. Okay. And they come into the club. You know, I was 16 uh, when I was uh, DJing. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, they would all come to the club. I would practice and practice. Lonzo actually lived on the next street over from me. Yes. Eve After Dark was maybe a mile away. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, he used to do stuff, man, all the time with Uncle, you know, they would do the, the parties like I did here. Yes. That's what they were doing. That's where I got the ideas from. Everything I did, I learned from Lonzo. Okay. Okay. Yeah. He, he's older than you are? Yeah. Okay, yeah. big bro type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Already, so mm. when you when you, you you're here in Texas, mm -hmm. were you DJing in Austin? No, there. Here was the thing: when I came here, uh, I had planned on not DJing it ever. I was done because I was going to school. Okay, and uh, Dwayne Dancer. Oh, really? Who used to be in L.A. too? Used to do stuff in L.A. Uh, hollered at me because. Uh, I came down here and I started DJing a couple of parties because I had friends down here. And I was going back and forth from UTA, U UT to UTA. Okay. UTA had a class that I needed in the summer anyway. Okay. So I would DJ in Fort Worth at Speakeasy. Okay. Speakeasy. And it was kind of, you know, it's like, cool. So I was growing a lot of attention. And at that time, Uche had just left... Uh, 107.5 yes. was at uh, K and OK. Yes. Had just left K and OK and went over to K104. And Dwayne Dancer was very bitter about that. He, he was, he was upset about the move. He was upset about Shay leaving, yeah, and going over there. So Dwayne Dancer was at 107.5. That's my, he's my mentor today. We, when I'm telling you, when I tell you that's my mentor, that's, that's my him. second daddy. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And so, uh, he came, uh, he came and saw me. Uh, one time at Speakeasy, he said, and he, you know, I told him, I said, yeah, I just come up here every now and then. I don't come up all the time. He says, well, what would you like to come? What, what can I get you to come up here all the time? I said, shoot, man, I ain't driving up and down the highway like that. Mm -hmm. He says, son, that's what they make planes for. I said, whoa. So the first time they put me on air uh, in KNOK, they forgot to bring the turntables and the mixer. Yeah. So they just had the studio stuff, mm. which they had, you know, a couple of record, you know, pads and carrying on and carrying on. So I'm thinking they're going to put me on the air. And I'm like, okay, where's the, the system? Now? We ain't got none. And you on in five minutes. Mm. I'm like, what did they whoa, want you whoa, to whoa. do? Wait a minute, wait a minute, hold up, hold up. <laughs> and I mean, at that time it was Julie Summers was on yeah. and I was coming. She was getting off and I was coming on. I'm like, okay, what am I do? So I'm starting thinking real hard. So I took the rubber mats off the turntables, put on a piece of paper, cut them real quick, put the paper down, grab me a couple of coins, taped it down on the needle, and I scratched with the knobs. Wow. That was my first. And so the next day, uh, the owner of the station <laughs> said, what do you need? Mm -hmm. He says, that was the best thing I'd ever heard. I said, well, you ain't heard crap yet. That was mm. hard. To do it with knobs, and yes. that, you know, that was very hard, but it went off very well. So the next day, <clears throat> they got me a system, put it all in there, and uh, it went from there. And then uh, they, oh, well, at that time, it's Quinn Eccles was my dog. He's actually my fraternity brother, too. Oh, really? Um, Sigma, right? Yes, sir. Five beta blew to my heart. Oh, yeah. Hey. Yeah. My uh, mom was a Zeta. Hey, there yeah. you go. Yeah, hey, uh, mama. I like mama. <laughs> there you go, mama. Uh, so, uh, Quinn 
said, hey, man, uh, I, I'm going to get you some tables because I was going to buy some. He says, no, nah, let me get them because Quinn was promoting me at the time. I yeah. didn't know Quinn was pimping me. But, <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> Quinn was promoting me, you know, because they didn't want me. They didn't want me in the streets yet. They didn't want people to see me mm -hmm. because the buzz had taken off really, really good. Yeah. And considering that uh, KNO, KNO K didn't have the signal K104 had. And they waited for a whole book to come out before they let me come in the streets. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when the first book came out, it came out a 16.5. And you know, in a 16.5 in a book yes, yes. with a sweet signal, mm -hmm. K104 was like, what, what the, the hell happened? Hell happened? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, uh, the radio station come back to me after the first book and say, man, what do, you, what do you want? And so I said, what do you mean? What do I want? Like he said, what do you want? Uh, Dwayne Dancer, man, as much I love my brother. When I tell you that boy, look, that man look out for me. Yes. That man look out for me. He says, Rock, hey, we going to give you a little bit more money. I said, okay. I didn't know nothing about no damn ratings. Excuse me for cussing. I didn't know anything about, any, I didn't know anything about no ratings. You know, then uh, he hit me. He says, man, every tenth of a point is $100,000. I said, excuse me? You say what? Right? A tenth of a point, not a point. Ching, no. ching. Tenth of a point. Yeah. It's equivalent to a hundred thousand dollars in, in revenue. revenue. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I said, ooh, okay. So about maybe <laughs> the wheels start turning around. Huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then mind you, I'm in college. Yeah. Teenager? Oh, you're in your yeah, tw early twenties. I'm, I'm, I'm nineteen, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I'm I'm eighteen, nineteen years old. And I'm like, okay, well, uh, how much, how much y'all giving me? Cause I know when I worked for the world class record crew, them jokers just give me thirty five dollars to GJ at night. Wow. Yeah. How, how much was you making at the club? Oh man, they was making bank. Oh, so at, at the work, what was the being with the world class record crew was affiliated with the club you were DJing at as well? Yeah, Eve at the dark. Okay. Eve okay. at the dark is iconic, man. That's, okay. That's. Anybody from LA and was back in the day know that that is the place where everybody came out. You, the neighborhood mm -hmm. I came from had so much talent that they mm -hmm. had. They had, um, you know, they we had we had Easy, we had Drake, we had Yellow, we had we had like three or four baseball players, professional baseball players. We had three or four professional football players. You know, we just had a multitude of people. Yeah. In that whole area, within a five mile radius, is probably f ten more TV mm. stars. Mm. You know, and my understanding was at one time they was gonna make a movie about it, but I never heard anything else about it. Somebody might need to do uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, at it least was, a documentary. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, mm -hmm. you know, there's already been a couple of documentaries coming out of there. So. Oh really? Well, yeah, yeah. NWA. Well, I'm talking about out of that about the yeah. club though. No, no, no. They should make one about Eve yeah. at the Dark. That's though. what I'm saying. That's they a lot should. Of history. Yes, that's yeah, that's a lot of history coming out of there. Yeah, yeah. It is. It is. What it was, was the club in New York? Everybody used to, that they made it, 51. 51. Yes, that Studio they, 51. That, yeah, Eve at the Dark like definitely fits Studio 51 for LA. It's your girl Jazzy K with Super Tight TV. We want to thank everyone that's been watching. Hey, if you do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Also, press the notification bell so you can be notified every time we drop a new video. No, I'm gonna get some game tuned in with super tight. Yeah, I get the low love from Big Bobo from the front seat, not no photos. 